Placing plants. Now that you've seen how the plant symbols that are included with Vectorworks Landmark are set up to make an attractive and flexible drawing, you'll learn how to place new plants in the scheme using the plant tool. You're going to plant the empty bed to the right of the bottom right lawn. Use the plant tool. Choose text, format text. On the format text dialog, choose the style plant tags, aerial narrow 10 point. Click OK. On the site planning tool set, click on the plant tool. The first time you click on the tool, the plant settings dialog will open automatically. After that, you'll need to use the plant tool preferences button on the toolbar. On the left, click definition. Select the Betula Lenta symbol. Don't change any other fields. Click OK. On the toolbar, notice the different modes available for placing plants. Click the first mode, single plant placement mode. Click once on the planting bed to place a single instance of the Betula Lenta. Notice the tag is produced automatically on the right of the symbol with an approach angle of zero degrees. On the toolbar, click on the second mode button Poly Vertex Placement Mode. Click Plant Tool Preferences again and select Cornus Alba Siberica. Click OK. Click on the drawing in the upper right corner of the planting bed to place the first plant. Move the cursor to where you'd like to place the second plant and click again. Move the cursor to the position of the third plant. Double click to complete the group. Still using the plant tool, select the third mode, poly edge spaced mode. On the toolbar, to the right of the plant tool preferences button, you'll find a menu listing the plants available in this file. Select Buxus sempervirens from the list. To the left of the wall and below the path, notice there is an unplanted strip. The Buxus will be planted here. Click at one end of the strip and then move the cursor to the other end of the strip. Double click to complete the row of plants. Vectorworks Landmark has spaced the plants using the spacing value already set up in this plant. You'll see how to do this yourself soon. On the object info palette, change spacing to 550 millimeters. Notice the number of plants increases to fill the space. Choose plant and then choose Triangular Array Mode on the toolbar. Click Plant Tool Preferences and click Definition. Choose Ligularia, click Insertion Options and change the following. Custom Spacing, check and type 300mm. Notice that you can also override the spread and height values from the default for the plant as required for the design. Click OK. Click on the planting bed where you'd like to place a group of ligularia. With this mode, you draw the outline of the space that you want to fill with plants. Continue to click around the area that you want to plant, returning to the start point and double clicking to complete. The plants are drawn automatically within the space and take on the spacing set up within the plant settings. Rectangular Array Mode works in the same way as the Triangular Array Mode but places the plants on a rectangular grid instead of triangular. Complete the planting plan. The easiest way to complete the plan when you have a number of plants already placed in the scheme is to use the pick up mode of the plant tool. When placing plants, you may find it useful to suspend snapping temporarily. Hold down the back quote key to do this. Choose plant and then choose pick up mode on the toolbar. The cursor changes to an eyedropper. Click on another plant grouping in the scheme and look at the toolbar. The active plant is now the one you've clicked on. The mode the plant was placed in has also been selected. Click on the planting bed 
to place the plant in the appropriate way. You can also add plants to the scheme directly from the resource browser. Click the Home button on the resource browser, scroll through the resources and locate any of the plants. Double click the plant to make it the active symbol. Click on the plan to place the plant using the appropriate mode. Continue planting using either method to complete the scheme and although the plant tags look a mess, please don't worry about it. Using the selection tool, click on the tree, the very first tree you placed in the scheme. Choose Modify, Send, Send to Front. This will bring the tree canopy graphic above the rest of the plants. Align the plant tags. Now that the plants are placed, you'll be wondering about the tags. If you used the pickup mode of the plant tool, the plant tag position, left or right, will also be copied. Each tag can be moved individually with the selection tool. However, we can also use the align distribute leader lines command to do the bulk of the work. Click selection. Select the row of Buxus sempervirens that you placed earlier. Click on the blue handle at the plant end of the tag. Move the cursor onto a different plant within the same group and then click to place the handle in its new location. Click on the blue handle at the text end. Move the cursor to the right and click again. Click and drag around the lower right planting bed, press Alt and while still pressing Alt, release the mouse button. All the plants in this bed will be selected. Choose Modify, Align, Align and Distribute Leader Lines. On the Align Leader Lines dialog, change the following. Horizontal Alignment, check both options. Vertical Distribution, None. Click OK. Zoom so that you can see the tags of the plants in the bed above. Click on the left of the lowest bubble of these plants. Move the cursor down the page to create a vertical line and click again. Vectorworks will take a moment to work out the tags as you've given it a complex task. When it's complete, the tags will be aligned to the right, but not evenly spaced. With the plant still selected, choose Modify, Align, Align Distribute, Leader Lines. On the Align Distribute Leader Lines dialog, under Vertical Distribution, click Equal Distance Between Shoulder Lines and click OK. Draw the alignment line again and wait for the command to complete. This time the plant tags are aligned and evenly spaced. To save time, we've moved all the tags to the right. However, you could have selected only the plants on the left of the planting bed and used the Align Distribute Leader Lines command. Then you could have repeated the process for the tags on the left. 